look amazing. What are you wearing right now? Oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm wearing a piece from Bayshore Shopping Mall, a local mall in, in Ottawa. So let me get, you're one of those people that can make like, I don't know, the, the dollar store look amazing, right? <laughs> yeah, you can never go wrong. There's a lot of great finds and I like to DIY a lot of my jewelry. I actually made these earrings and necklace myself, so Dollar Store is a great place. I love this, but more importantly, I love the fact that you are walking this red carpet. There's a reason, nominations. What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for Blues Album of the Year. How did that feel, hearing your name come out like that? Oh my gosh, it feels absolutely incredible. <laughs> After all the hard work that me and my band put into this wonderful work, uh, it just feels so great to be recognized. Now, to be uh, recognized, you have to have music. What was the music that you were nominated for and what was it? How did it represent you in your career? Well, the album we've been nominated for is my album Long River and my band consists of Corinthia Francis, Kira Francis, Kieran Francis, Kayla Francis, Dave Williamson, Ed Lister, and our amazing publicist Eric Albert, all the work they did. And this album is a consolidation of the human condition and the many different facets of blues music and how they mix and match to tell our stories about life. I love that. Okay, what are the plans for Edmonton now? Oh my gosh, I have to book plane tickets before they get too expensive. <laughs> but we plan to be out there with uh, with our four piece uh, and uh, we can't wait to meet with all the other nominees. And of course, you gotta get a warm coat. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to get a warm coat. Now look, I am gonna look forward to seeing you down there because you're gonna bring the heat. Congratulations, and we'll see you in Edmonton. Thank you so much, and thank you for having the me today. Last time I saw you, man, of course, when you were part of Canadian Idol. That's the last time. I've That's seen the you. last time. It's been a long time, and the only time I've seen you is always on TV for whatever specials that you had, man. It is great to see you on a red carpet, especially as a Juno Award nominee for comedy. It's great to be here on the red carpet talking to you. Yeah, Canadian Idol was a long time ago, but a beautiful memory of mine. Yeah. How much fun was that for you, man? Because I know for me, covering it was a blast. Oh no, I love Canadian Idol. It was a, it was a great experience. Yeah, to travel the country, hang out with great people. Uh, yeah, it was genuinely probably one of the most enjoyable television experiences I've ever had. Yeah. What did it do for your career? What did it do for well? I mean, anything and everything. I mean, every little part of the career is you know a stepping stone to the next thing. Canadian Idol was great. Got to meet Insight, a great production company. Ended up making my own television show with them. So yeah, without that, it wouldn't have been uh, my career would be nothing. Yeah. But the good thing is, man, you're still doing comedy. What is it about comedy that you still love after all these years? Uh, what do I love about doing comedy after all these years? It pays the bills. Yeah, I have a, uh, a little boy who's going to be one years old. Well, congratulations! Hey, thanks very much, but it costs a lot of money. So, yeah, unfortunately I painted myself into a corner. I have no skills anywhere else, so uh, without comedy, uh, my child wouldn't have shoes. No joke. Well, we are glad that you're doing it, man. You have to have an album, too. What's the album called? The uh, album is called A Person Who Is Gingerbread, and that is the uh, appropriate term and all... The album's called The Person Who Is Gingerbread, and that's the appropriate terminology to use when describing a cookie. Uh, it's very inclusive, and that's what I'm all about. Um, yeah, very funny album, so they say, not my words. Uh, everyone seems to love the album. Uh, they say it's the hardest they've ever laughed, uh, and those are people who have laughed at a lot of things in the past. Um, so quite proud of it, and like I said, not my words, everyone else's funniest album they've ever heard. So, well, look, man, you've always been not just a funny person, but you've always been a great person, which is why when I was doing all that stuff with the... Uh, with Canadian Idol. I always enjoy talking to you, seeing your stuff, seeing what you're doing, watching your specials, and so glad that you are a nominee. You're definitely going to head to Edmonton. Yeah, I'm heading to Edmonton, and thanks for those kind words. I am a good person. You are. <laughs> Congrats, man. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to Edmonton? I will be there. Okay, well, we'll see you in Edmonton. You got it. My queen, we have been doing this for a long time, and you don't age. You don't age. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be back. What is the secret? You know what the secret is, I say every 10 years you add an extra pound of makeup. <laughs> oh, please. You know what? I remember our first interviews that we did way, way back. You have been, your life has really transcended from not just music, but doing so many other things and helping the community. How do you feel that you have progressed? Uh, over the years. Like I said, not just musically, but personally as well. You know what? I learned early in the career the power of arts as a form of expression. But I was also learning the words expression. Remember, English is my second language. So the more I learned about it, the 
more I knew I had to share what is healing and how does that heal. And we know we're living in times as Canadians and we have all this work to do, but what a privilege to be one of the Indigenous artists living in this time to share that. And this is just part of it. Well, you know, you're part of this. You're a nominee. What are you nominated for? Um, Indigenous album. And what's the album? And tell us about the album too and how it's representing you in your career now. Yeah, so this is our 10th album and it's called The Crossing. And The Crossing is a series of songs that talk about the power of discovering our origin stories through our lens and the steps that he, that heals us in that discovery process. Did you say 10? This is your 10th album? This is the 10th album. Did you ever think from the first time we were talking? I thought when I did Arctic Rose, I'd just tick that off the bucket list and I can move on with my life. Who knew? <laughs> what are the plans now? You're heading to Edmonton and I don't care what anybody says, Edmonton's cold. Toronto was hot, now we're going back to cold. You want to talk cold? I just came back from Rankin Inlet where one of our foundation sites is uh, 48 below with no wind chill. That's cold. We can do anything if we can do that. <laughs> I'm a Torontonian. I can't handle that. But look, we're looking forward to seeing you in Edmonton. Congratulations. And always a pleasure talking to you. You too. Thank you.